life. Funny thing, isn't it? 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. The same monotonous shit. It's as if people are scared to do anything spectacular with their lives. You get one go at life, and in the grand scheme of things, it ain't a very long go. Not to sound cocky, but I've always felt like I was destined for something better than that lot down there. And Christ knows something better ain't just going to beat a path to your door. you got to get out there and grab it with both hands. Life's a gamble, and you got to take risks. You can't be afraid to just close your eyes and jump. Where is it? I haven't got it. Don't fucking lie to me. I swear, I don't know where it is. <sighs> okay. Guess I'll have to jog your memory. Oh no, okay, okay. I've got it. Oh, fuck off. Things were bleak for me back at this point. I was leading a bit of a double life back then, coming home with money I claimed I'd earned one way, when in fact I'd got it somewhere completely different. This went on for months, and it killed me, but I could never bring myself to tell... Sarah. Best thing that's ever happened to me. I loved her, and yet I was lying to her, day in, day out. Finally, you said you'd be home at eight. Yeah, sorry, there was this whole... big... Thing. They were short on till staff and had to cash up the whole turn in the night there. Well, I'm really good when you stay. I wish you'd have called me. The baby started kicking earlier. Oh my god, really? Yeah, it was amazing. I can't believe I missed that. Just stuff at work. Are you still thinking about quitting? I don't know. We need the money, don't we? There's other ways of making money. You don't want to start getting that clever, do you? And hopefully, no. uh, they should be able to say later. Danny, good friend of mine. Reliable, trustworthy, good person to have in a crisis. His decisions can be clouded by his habits. Other than that, I can't speak highly enough of him. Talk to me. I need money. Sarah's having a baby. How am I going to support it doing what I do? You know what, you'll manage. You know what I mean though? This isn't a living doing what we do. I ain't bothered mate. It's all money. Just be happy with what you got. But what I've got isn't going to feed and clothe my child, is it? I started doing this because I wanted to be in control of my own life, make my own decisions and become successful on my own terms. I want to create something for myself I can be proud of. I want to give that baby the best life I could possibly give it. And I'm never going to do that if I don't amount to anything myself. I need something big. Something life-changing. Alright, I know a guy who can help you out. I've done a few little jobs for him, here and there. And he's looking for some new blood. Really? Yeah, but you've got to be sure that you want this. Because this guy, yeah, he doesn't fuck around. He's taking on a lot bigger jobs than the sort of shit we do. You know what I mean? That's exactly what I'm after. Are you sure, though? Things should get a bit... Tasty. Yeah, anything. Alright, I'll hook you up. He was as good as his word, to be fair. He set me up a meeting the next day. I'd heard a lot about him, but I never thought I'd be stood face to face with him. He calls himself the boss, and I'd heard he could be a nasty piece of work. A vicious fucker. You shouldn't believe everything you hear, but you should definitely keep your wits about you when dealing with this guy.
as I'm sure you know, I'm a very busy man. Yeah. So, it'll mean a lot to me. Just spit it out. Get on with it. I now! Need, I need money. And I suppose you can't ever have too many people working for you. Someone else offering to help can only be a good thing. So, if you're only God's going, I thought maybe you could give them to me. You know what? You're all right. Tell you what, one chance, all right? One job. If you can prove to me that you're capable and reliable, maybe there'll be more work for you. So what's this job? An old friend of mine calls himself Johnny Matthews. He's been causing me and my associates a lot of trouble over the past few years. I suggest you go and have a chat with this gentleman and ask him very kindly to stop causing trouble. All right. Joshua will explain everything. Now fuck off. That's our guy. Right. What do you want me to do? I want your car there, and I want you to kill him. Don't Johnny Matthews? Yeah. Whoa, whoa, man. Whoa, whoa, be cool, bro. Be cool. Sorry, man. I don't have to do this. Fucking disappear off the face of the fucking planet. I don't want to see your face or hear your name ever again, okay? Fuck off. That was it. My one chance to prove that I could be someone, and I fucked it up. But the boss, my new employer, was none the wiser. He was impressed. He gave me a couple of jobs over the next few weeks. Things were finally looking up. Things were coming along nicely with Sarah and the baby. I was well known in the business, yeah. and as a result I managed to earn respect. My name had a level of power and fear that I'd never experienced before. And to tell you the truth, I loved it. What the fuck are you doing here? Oh fuck. Yeah? No. No, I can't right now, Josh. Just taking care of a bit of business. Vicky, I wasn't dealing on your property. I swear to you, I swear. I thought I told you to fuck off. No, I want you to fucking kill her. He's got to know that he can't get one over on us. Now. Don't talk to me again until you've got it done, all right? Sit down. That was just me taking care of a bit of business. Hmm. You've been with us for a few months now. Would you say in that time I've ever done you wrong? No. Given you a high profile job, made you a high profile person. Yeah.
I think of this as more of a family than a business. And a family looks after its own. What are you trying to say? Oh, I'm not trying to say anything. <laughs> I'm telling you, you've got a good family here, and we've never wronged you. So you wouldn't want to uh, wrong us, would you? No. Now, at first glance, you might think things couldn't be going any better for me. But there was a paranoia eating at me from the inside. Everything I'd achieved in the last few months had been built on a lie. And I felt like it was only a matter of time before someone found out the truth. Sarah? You shot yourself in the foot again Face looks jaded, clothes look faded Keep walking on my friend Face looks jaded, clothes look faded Keep walking on my Sarah! Right, I'm gonna get you out of there. No, run! Run! Done? I'm sorry, mate, no. No, I'm so sorry. I said Danny's decisions were clouded by his habit. Well, this time they really got the fucking better of him. Come on, I know you've got stuff. You yes, I have. And you always fail to pay me for it. You're a fucking liability, Danny. I mean, I've always been loyal to you, haven't I? It's not about loyalty. You know the rules. Yeah, I know, but... Well, if you haven't got the money, what are you going to give me of value? I don't know. <laughs> All right, yeah. Come back to me when you do know. Wait, wait. What? Johnny Matthews, he's, he's still alive. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that is interesting. <laughs> Tell me more. Oh, come on. Oh, that's a real shame, Danny. Oh, well, going cold turkey, well, that never hurt anyone. Mick told me he tried to do it. But he lied to us. He lied to us all. <laughs> Good boy, Danny. Earn yourself a big bag of sweets. He's got a girlfriend, correct? Yeah. Find her. Take her. What do you want me to do? Get her to bring Mickey to us? No. I want you to fucking kill her. He's got to know that he can't get one over on us. Now, don't talk to me again until you've got it done, all right? You sold me out. Some fucking drugs. I was weak, mate. I was weak. So, done your job, you've got your drugs. Now what? It's not done yet. What? <laughs> Danny, no!
Why not? Give me one fucking reason why I shouldn't kill you. I gave you everything. I set up the meetings. I got you the work. You were nothing when you came to me. I made you who you are today. I did all that for Sarah. She was all I had and you took her away. This is part of the business. You told me you wanted this and understood all the risks. Well, this, this is one of the risks. Fuck you. Fuck the business. I don't want anything to do with it. It's not as simple as that. You think you can just walk out like that? You think I wanted to do what I did? These are powerful people, Mick. I warned you not to fuck with them. You did. You warned me. Should have listened. I wasn't destined for greatness. But I chased it. And now Sarah's dead. The only thing I ever cared about. The only thing I ever had to fight for. It's a fucking jungle out there. Kill or be killed. And I am not going to be killed. So what can I do? Kill. Life's a gamble. And I lost the bet. You can't be afraid to take risks. But you can be afraid of the consequences. Just close your eyes and jump. In the automobile or two, I know how to trap. I know how to double up, then double back. No matter the circumstance, he emerged from that. Used to serve a bundles, not a verse intact. Used to worship onions, not service rap. But certain cats uncertain with that. Rather see them have service, dirt in that. Like I deserve them curses. Like I don't speak in cursive. Like I ain't got a purpose. Beats of the streets, don't stay on old trices. Person. Keep going, keep going on, keep going, keep going on. This is my battle cry, battle cry. Keep going, keep going on, keep going, keep going on. This is my battle cry. Now fuck off. <laughs>